name is Emma. In this presentation, I will talk about three tasks from the mid-semester assignment that I'm most interested in. The first one is capturing place. In this task, I choose two places that have special memory for me. On the left side is an image of a tunnel which is located in the park near my apartment and it's a unique symbol of this park. Uh, this tunnel is made of bamboo which also come from this park. Um, every spring it will be re renovated with new bamboos. So it is also a reminder of the arriving new year. Uh, the replaced bamboo will be cleaned and cut it into small pieces to make a small curving and give them to small children to wish them good luck in the new year. And this tunnel has been made by a traditional handcraft technique, so it is also a memory of the city. Um, the one on the right side is a photo of a ramp on the side of hiking stairs, uh, which I think it uh, wasn't built as a slide in the first place, but it has been used as a slide since I was a kid. And uh, the surface of the stone has been uh, rubbed uh, very smooth. Um, I'm sure in most people's memory, when they think of this park, the first thing come up will be the stone slide. Um, I think it, this place is very special. Uh, it becomes a pleasant memory of my childhood, and it will continue to be a pleasant memory for uh, other kids, and uh, this happiness will be passed on. On the next slide is a series of photos uh, of the object from inside or outside my home. I use different materials to get them. Uh, the first one is to use tinfoil to get the wood pattern. I think this creates a sense of contrast between technology and nature. Uh, the second one uses charcoal. I think it's easy to control and uh, allows me to get a clear rinse of the object. Um, the third one I think is not a traditional full touch. Um, I wrapped the paper around the toothpaste and uh, get the traces on the paper by squeezing it um, and this allows me to have a 3D full touch and the first one I uh, used a black paper and white charcoal and I think it's quite different um, than use black ones uh, the fifth one was made uh, using acrylic paint and plastic uh, I put the paint onto the plastic bag and then uh, print it on the paper, uh, recording the, the moment when the plastic and the paper come into connect. And the last one, um, use a 2B pencil. Um, and I, when I draw them with different strings, it, the image uh, takes in two different uh, qualities which is interesting as if the image faded away. Um, the last task I'm going to talk about is uh, the keyword task. I choose in red as the keyword, which I think is defined as something foreign or harmful, getting inset or slowly replaced. Um, Based on this definition, I try to make and find different materials, embodiments of this world. Uh, I categorize the inversive elements and e explore their invasions on different materials. Uh, I think this process is quite interesting. Uh, the same elements on different materials create different things. Uh, for example, um, the, pr uh, the pressure on concrete uh, leaves a cute uh, cat footprint, which I think could be a happy memory. But um, when the needle press on the balloon, it makes me feel tense. And um, some of the experiment jog my memory. Like for example, when I try to drop the color ink into water, 
it reminds me of the of making coffee in the morning and i think i will like think back of this experiment when i make coffee again in the future so i think this experience is very uh, interesting and special um, in this page i think time is a critical factor all of these materials are affected by time the attempt of the apple is very visual um, I cut the apple open to record the intrusion of the time on it in 24 hours. And it is obviously to notice the change of the apple. Just like our memory, memories uh, could become blurred um, with the passage of time. Um, that's all of my presentation. Thanks for watching.